pick for Dane Smith. All of a sudden, McKay's floating on the back side. It just shows you the extent of the guys that can score for the Buffalo Bandits. How about this guy scoring a goal right away, a delayed penalty call, and that's Lyle Thompson. Spoke about him in the opening of tonight's broadcast, his 12th of the season, two back-to-back, -back, five goal performances, and with that goal, congratulations to Lyle Thompson, his 200th. NLL goal. Yeah, you see a couple of set picks. Shane Jackson and uh, Semple again allowing. It's improving, but it's one thing that Dane Smith said he wants to do. There's a shorthanded goal scored <laughs> by Georgia. Oh, and that's Lyle Thompson. And how spectacular is this goal, Johnny? The Bandits have an extra, an extra defender. Mark up tonight's game. He's got the ball. Takes the shot. And Poulin holds it right at the goal line. Swept up nicely. For the line, dashing to the near side, twirling in the corner is Shane Jackson. Top of the slot, looking, shot on, score! Georgia, Brendan Bomberry. You don't want Bomberry to set up in the slot too often, Johnny, because he can hurt you. The attention was over on Jordan Hall, who was kind of being shifty on the back side. Bomberry just posts up in the slot, gives a little pump, a little pump, and then boom, hammers it to the far side on Manny. We've got a good look on it here. Oh, that ball had eyes, Johnny. And the swarm just like. 5 3 lead in the ball by Jackson down into the Buffalo zone. Jackson over the shoulder feet. Hall with a shot, he scores. Jordan Hall. Two man game. On the left-hand side between Jackson and Hall, usually, again, it kind of flipped the script there. Usually it's Halsey setting something for Jackson, him rolling over. Same thing, sets a nice little down, excuse me, up pick, and goes airborne, showing far side as a goaltender. You got to leave your pipe because you got to respect it. And the veteran Halsey showing it far, coming back short. That one. It's just a kind of both of them, Julian Edelman and... and uh... Bomber, or not Bomberry, but Buchanan looked the same. There's a goal scored by Georgia. Talking over that one. Yeah, and that's Shane How Jackson. How about this game? 5-5. Five, five. That's Shane Jackson's first one of the night. Again, on that far side, Thompson and Bomberry doing the pick and roll. You got to respect, you got to shade. And that just leaves Shane Jackson coming over off of a little set shot. And boy, again, that ball has eyes. Hammers it high to high over the left shoulder of Matt Evans with only three seconds. To Smith on a dash, taking a shot. Poulin with the save. Rebound is picked up at Vince. Rebound so important for Georgia, resetting the shot clock as well. Here's Bumberry with a low drive. That's blocked by Vince. Rebound picked up by Georgia. Shot score! Georgia! Oh, a beautiful one. And to get right back into this game. Yeah, and that's Thomas Semple. That's his first goal of his NLL career. Picking up the garbage just like Kyle Buchanan. This is coming off of a second opportunity getting a loose ball. There's a big shot and then a good feed after the loose ball by McIntosh. It just sees a slashing simple inside. The coverage is blowing. A little high fake goes short. It's Chris Cluche. Here's Byrne looking, looking. Traffic in front. Smith with a shot. Pulling with the save. And he'll hang on to that one as we end quarter number three. Buffalo hanging on. The outlet pass makes the connection to Joel White. Here comes White in over the line. Strategic shot, score, Georgia. What a move, and Brendan Bomberry on the end of that one with the webbing of a stick. And let that ball go past Matt Vince. Yeah, this has become more of a five on five game. But because of the grind, guys are starting to get tired. And Georgia takes advantage of the loose ball. They get it up real quick. Joel White just sprints up the floor, realizes he's got a two-on-one with Bomberry. And Bomberry looks high. And plenty of time on the shot clock with 12. And the extra attacker is out. Tipped back over the line. Over to Tanner Buck now in front, trying to get a good quick stick shot. There's Buck. He scores. Oh, boy. Did he slice that one right to the short side of Matt Vince. And his second goal of the season for Tanner Buck. The Swarm having the advantage, six on five on the delayed penalty. Jackson looked like he wanted to shoot there, but he drags a defender down and then just kicks it up to Buck. There's no rotation ever so slightly. And Tanner Buck, you get a good look at it. Wow, there's not much room there. 
but that goes high. Second stage of the fourth quarter. Georgia trying to get back in. They do score. Jordan McIntosh from the top of the slot. And Georgia inching back with its ninth goal of the game. They won't, they won't go away. Nope. They will not go away. And Eddie Cuomo coach team will not go away, taking advantage of the delayed penalty coming up. And Jordan McIntosh just comes straight down the slot. There's really no rotation. And he says, you know what? I'm just going to set up and take a little step down. Matt Vince taking a step out, goes between the pads. Maybe a little unexpected. Loose ball battle. Finding Georgia scooping up the ball, taking the shot, saved by Matt Vince. Rebound, Georgia scores! One goal game. I think that that's Jordan McIntosh again. The ball gets a shot after off of a shot from a bandit. It goes over the midfield line. And is it going to be over and back? But they hold, they delay it because George is going to pick up the ball. I think that that's a good call. Great save by Matty Vince first. Jordan McIntosh, just so smooth. Stays and stays and stays, and then boom, buries it over the shoulder. That's Von Harris, former Buffalo Bandit, firing that shot. And then the rebound is picked up by McIntosh. Right place at the right time, but you wouldn't have want any other player on your team other than McIntosh to score critical goals like that and did for 